All right. Well, if you don't have any other comments on this, I'm going to move along to our last AEW angle for the night. Also from mm. Dynamite, the aforementioned Dynamite. Moxley Stable, who has been causing havoc and, you know, disruption, if you will. But they, this is the first time they came on with their new theme song and the new stable name, Death Riders. <laughs> 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 John okay. Fox, like, I'll, these I'll are the, these are the death riders these guys <laughs> these guys have ever seen any more frightening guys than these guys well all right the the angle today was not so stacked or hot it was a trios uh oh it was a tag team match it was Pac and claudio against uh orange cassidy the man and darby the, tu right? the toughest guy in wrestling Yes, Vlad, you you ruined my surprise. And and Darby oh. Allen, who came who came flying off the top of the entrance, uh, whatever you call that, the the entrance circle, but he was hiding up there, and he he dove onto the, I want to say Blackpool Combat Club, but Death Rider guys, okay, the Death Rider guys. <laughs> but um, all right, so this match got thrown out um, when it looked like Orange Cassidy was gonna hit the Orange Punch on Pac. Marina Shafir of Death Riders came out and she just basically kicked the referee, basically, and that was that was the end. I don't know what the official result was. In my in my in my no contest. Right? I put no contest on mine. I don't know if you call that a disqualification. I think that's a DQ, but it's gotta be know. a DQ. Yeah. The yeah. match ended, and basically uh, they were gonna beat beat everybody down like they usually do. But I think the conglomeration. Mark Briscoe and Kyle O'Reilly and Tomohiro or Rocky Romero. I don't know if Ishii was there, but looks like that looks yeah. like Romero. But okay, yeah. so then they run them off on this night. So uh, let me mention one more thing before um, we give our overall thoughts on what's going on in this program because we did mention with Wish Lashley in town that it's uh, it seems like it's it's put a damper on this. But uh, both of us gave this an indifference, so nobody, n neither me or Vlad could bring ourselves to give any any type of good rating to this on dynamite we both gave it a zero on the mallet perch smart rating system but uh i will mention one more thing vlad before i get some thoughts about this is yeah, uh is is that the the angle obviously continued on collision so yesterday which was the ninth uh the death riders were there to Defend their trios title, which I thought this segment was actually better than the, the Dynamite one. I actually would have give, given this one maybe a half thumbs up when they defended the trios title against the conglomeration, Robert. So this was a, an actual match for the title. A lot of pressure on this team, on this stable, Death Riders, to hold on to these titles. It looked like in doubt uh, a little bit, but uh, basically what had happened was I think Marina Shafir again came in and she, she interfered and uh, hit Kyle O'Reilly with the suitcase that has the world title belt and then uh, Wheeler Yuta with the Bicycle knee and then so they retained um, and the the interesting there was a brawl and all that but the interesting thing me and because me and Vlad were at my house for his birthday yesterday mm -hmm. was Vlad's birthday weekend so we did watch this <laughs> but at the end when the show was going off the air they said an interesting thing they, they gave an advertisement for this Wednesday's Dynamite where it says Moxley seizes the superstation. So Moxley's going to seize the channel, I guess. Uh -huh. On Wednesday is what's supposed exactly. to happen. That's my thought as well, Robert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Why would so... they announce that as a, as a thing that's going to happen? All right. Well, Robert, uh, I, I did I did some of Dynamite, I did some of Collision, but I'll start with Vlad before I get comments from you since he watched it already. Um, anything you want to say so far about what's going on here? <laughs> I guess anything I mentioned, anything that comes to your mind, go ahead, man. The floor is yours. <laughs> it's yes. painful. It's like I have a toothache. It's hard to talk about. Uh, look, Death Rider. Let's start there. I just guess you don't like the name. The name. <laughs> The name <laughs> it makes you think of a motorcycle gang. It's so gang. John Moxley, man. It's very you think John of a motorcycle Moxley. gang, right? These guys ride in the back of a, a pickup truck. This is all they do. They don't. They're not riders <laughs> of anything. <laughs> None yeah, of them actually ride. We've never it. seen them. Yeah, the Aces and Eights. They used to have. Uh, they had know, motorcycles at the Bailey. They had right? motorcycles. Yeah, they actually. And they all, rode, and they all rode them. 
I mean, I don't know if it was those guys actually writing them, but it doesn't matter. This was the name makes no sense for them. They don't do any writing except on, except the pickup truck. Um, and obviously, they just keep working with these guys that I don't think anybody really cares about. I'm sorry, like Kyle Fletcher. I mean, yeah, Mark Briscoe is a really tremendous wrestler. Everybody knows his history, Ring of Honor, tag team wrestling, all of that stuff. He's he is great, but you know he's not really been used that great here in AW for the longest time. Uh, and then the, the topper, they're announcing that this guy that's supposedly like invading or trying to run the company is seizing the super station. Like that's like an announcement. Like they know it's coming, and they're advertising yeah. it as something that's, that's happening. Like, yeah, it's like an NWO the- storyline. That sounds like uh, you know, oh, they're going to take over the whole show or what the but fuck. They would, but they wouldn't, but they wouldn't say that. Like they wouldn't. The WCW, they wouldn't. Well, say, they got, they like, got to say. Join it. us next week. Next week. And the is gonna take over our show. <laughs> Join us when they well, do. they got they gotta say something's gonna happen because if they don't, no one's watching. Obviously, like five hundred, they they only got five hundred thousand people to watch this week, so <laughs> no one's watching the show. They gotta tell them something's gonna happen, or else no one's gonna fucking tune in. That's the but this issue. This makes no sense. But this one makes yeah, no sense. Why would you? How, I know. how could they? So they're fine with them taking over the network or the show or whatever the, whatever that means, right? I guess because they don't seem to care. But I don't yeah, understand my, that. So. Overall, this whole thing is just going down the drain. Um, it's not a it's not a group that really makes sense for, as an invasion angle. Like I said from the beginning, like it doesn't make sense. All these guys have been here, you know. Mox did pretty much from the beginning. Um, so, what their complaints are and what they want doesn't really make any sense. And and they're feuding with like all these guys that are in the mid card. Okay, I won't use jobbers because you know don't, don't want to offend anyone. You know. I mean, they're not they're technically jobbers in AEW. All these guys are are names. Like Orange Cassidy is a name. He's a former international champion and, and all that. You know, he he's a tough guy. On this show, he's a tough guy. But well, uh, yeah, no, I mean I admit yes. I think the Darby is kind of I, I don't, I'm going to ignore what you said, but Orange Cassidy completely because that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he's a tough guy. Well, well, well look Irregardless of that, I also think it's weird that Mock, that these guys, Death Riders, keep getting run off. You know, like every episode, they're getting, you know, basically they're in a brawl, and then a bunch of people come, too many for them to handle, and they run away. It's you know, NWO when they had only four guys or three guys, Hall and Nash and Hogan, you could send the whole locker room at them, and they would fight them all off. So these guys are not really that strong. They're just Pac and Claudio and Wheeler Yuta, dude. So <laughs> that's an issue. So um, yeah, it's definitely an issue. All right, Robert. Um, I know you didn't see any of this, but I gave you some some summary of it. I don't know if you if you have any comments, you're welcome. And I'm gonna move back to SmackDown after we're done with this. So the floor is yours for a minute. Okay. Well, I didn't watch Dynamite, so I don't have much to say except about this uh, Mockley seizing this <laughs> superstation this coming what when uh, Dynamite? Yes. Yes. Um, Live this okay. Wednesday, in Bridgeport, Connecticut. All right, I'll just say this much. I, I hope something gets revealed, right, about, you know, what's really going on here uh, and, and not just them interfering in matches and then getting run off. Like, that, you know, that that's starting to feel repetitive at this point. Like, there's got to there's gotta be some sort of plot twist that happens is all I'm saying. Hopefully we'll get that, but I don't know. I what about we're going to... Death Riders. What do you oh, yeah, you like, you like Death Riders? You like, you like Death Riders uh, as a reference? No. <laughs> do these guys it's, look like Death Riders, it's, too? It's better than Blackpool oh. Combat Club. Like, that's that was awful. I hated that name. I, I agree I'm down, with that, too. Yeah, I'm down with Death Riders. But I don't think there's going to be any reveal, Robert. I don't know what you're thinking of. Like, they used to say Shane O'Mac was going to be the, the, the guy behind this whole thing, but that rumor has... Is gone. I think it's already been okay. revealed. Moxley says, you work for me now. This is basically him trying to take over this company as best as he can. He's not really doing it that good. I but it, I thought he hinted at something else, but okay. He did. Right, he did. Be... Numerous times he hinted <laughs> at something uh, beyond what anybody else comprehended. Okay.